And today I wanted to speak personally from the heart. Um, where I live in Queenstown, New Zealand, it's a beautiful tourist village. And we woke up to snow in the mountains this morning. Two days ago we had autumn and this morning we had beautiful white capped mountains and still do. And I have found that in the last day or two that my energy, my vibration has shifted. It's hit a little bit of a low. And my sense is, is that when I'm speaking to my clients and when I'm speaking to friends, personal friends who live in our village, there is a lot of fear out there at the moment. And the fear being that people are losing their jobs in our town, being, um, you know, not, we're not too sure when the tourists are going to be allowed back in. We're not too sure when the vibration is going to lift again. So what am I doing personally to lift my vibration up? I allow, okay? I Last night I had a moment um, where I just felt into it. And, and I do pick up on a lot of people's energies within, or just the town's energy and the universal energy, as so many of us do. And I was really, really sad. I was really sad by what's showing up as is, okay, and what's happening, because it's affecting a lot of our own personal friends. And fear is false evidence appearing real. And it can be very real for most of those people who are providers for their families. So for me, it's about how do we lift a vib vibration up? How do we find more joy? How do we find more laughter? What, what are we doing to, to lift ourselves out of this fear? Because otherwise our heads kick in. And I know that to be true when I was just feeling into the consciousness that's uh, within our town. And I gave myself the time to grieve. Uh, I had a really big cry and woke up this morning and one of the things I do when I wake up in the morning is I go back to gratitude. I, I'm grateful for my pillow. I'm grateful for the warm duvet that I have. I'm grateful for my pajamas. I'm grateful for my beautiful mattress that I'm able to sleep on that gives me a good night's sleep. Uh, and then I go and have my first cup of coffee and then I'm grateful for that and I bring myself into the moment of smelling the coffee I'm grateful for the time that my husband and I spend together. And I really and truly, when I, when I hit those lows, and I can, I'm sure most of us feel it, and we're not even too sure why, and my sense is a lot of the times we buy into the universal energy because we are such empaths. And for me, I go back into gratitude all the time. And what I mean by all the time is whether I'm having a good day, a joyful day, a happy day, a not so happy day. I mean, this morning, even when I woke up and I was in this moment of, oh, what can I be grateful for? My head went back into the past, which was last night. And I was like, oh, I feel really flat. I don't know if I can work with my clients today. And then I brought myself back into the present moment again and said, okay, Michelle, you're here right now. Back to gratitude. And the other thing I do is I thump. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't hump, I thump. <laughs> and um, I was teaching 4IM universal, beautiful human beings how to thump on the thymus. And the other place I thump is here. Okay, now this is, these are three little offerings of how we can boost our immune system, how we can bring our energies together. So besides me being grateful and enjoying my cup of coffee and enjoying my hugs with my, my children, a lot of people I know that are alone do not have the same privileges that I have. But I go back into gratitude because it helps me to shift. It helps me to look at what I can be really, really, really... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the word grateful again, but I'm going to spell it G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L. That for me is great. So much to be grateful for. So back to my thumping. My K27, I thump on here. Or you can rub these points. 
thump on the thymus, and then I thump just a little bit lower on the spleen, which is on the rib cage. And I'm going to read to you the K27. Okay, any time that you're feeling drowsy or have a lack of energy, trouble concentrating, and having to stay focused, it's a really great tapping point. And what it does is it's a junction point for all your meridians. Tapping on this point will help you to wake up your energies and get them to flow forward. Then tapping on the spleen, I gave some understanding last week on tapping on the thymus and how awesome that is to build our immune systems. Tapping on the spleen points, it's a great metabolizer. So if you're battling with any indigestion, something that you've eaten, battling to digest any thoughts, any negative thoughts that come up, I would highly recommend tapping on the spleen meridian okay I just realized that by doing that I got a bit of a double chin <laughs> this is what happens I decided today that I need to show for me the wacky weird person that I am because we all have to be wacky in this time we all have to be weird we have to learn how to laugh at ourselves we have to learn how to have fun and I realized I was becoming so serious in the 20 different takes of putting these videos together and I was losing me I wasn't being real to me and by, by, by losing me I'm not I'm not what I'm not not what anything but I I want to show the 4am universal people that it's okay to be weird it's okay to be wacky um, it's okay to be spiritual but with being human, okay? And what I mean by that is sometimes I think we get so caught up in being so spiritually aware that we forget what it's like to be a human being and just have fun and just kick off the heels because the, there's sort of an expectation of there that out there that we're so spiritual and we just get life. And at the same time, it's about learning to just be okay with all the parts of who we are. So... I can be very much like a squirrel and my team would attest to that, that I can start in one point and I'm within two seconds I have 15 different other points and I know I drive myself mad, I drive my team mad, I drive my husband mad, but hey, it's something else I'm learning to grasp about myself and learning to love all parts of who I am. So, hence, squirrel moment, back to spleen, okay? Tap whenever you need an energy lift to help, re to help balance blood chemistry. If you have any autoimmune diseases within your body, great point to tap on or rub. If you have chronic fatigue, feel faint, and it helps to reduce fever and metabolize toxins within the body. So enough said on those few points. So yep, tapping in the morning. Tapping here on the thymus point and tapping on the spleen. And it's so funny how, for me, I really love putting this together because this is me, guys. And uh, I'm weird, I'm wacky, but at the same time, I am compassionate, I'm an empath, I'm caring, I'm loving. And I want to ask you today, how are you going to be weird? How are you going to be wacky? Are you going to pull faces at your children if you have children? Are you going to dance a little bit? Um, put on some music and just have lots of fun, okay? Now's the time to lift your vibration. Find yourself having fun, whatever that may be, okay? Doing handstands, cartwheels in the gardens, finding and working with that inner child inside of us. I'm wishing you all a beautiful day. Thank you once again for taking the time. And uh, all my love.